Okay, can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Oh, judges, are you ready? Perfect. Time. Colors. Judges, as a barista, I love describing coffee by colors. Worst coffee always reminds me of pink, like flowers. And nutty give me an impression of brown. In my everyday work, I love communicating with my customers in such a colorful way. So today, I have for you two different coffees with different colors, thanks to fermentation and drying. So let me introduce first coffee for espresso. First coffee and first color, red and orange. First coffee coming from El Burro, La Mastus family in Panama. The variety is Geisha, which gives a gentle acidity as a characteristic. Beautiful Lamastus put applied ASD process to his geisha. ASD stands for anaerobic slow dry, which is a key today to the red and orange color. Cherries were fermented for a five days in a sealed tank. During this process, bacteria consume oxygen and creates byproducts as acids, giving red color as a blood orange today. So, then cherries were slow dry in a cool room for 60 days, which is really slow. Uh, giving orange color, like papaya. Judges, I'm dosing 20 grams in and 41 out for a balanced cup. Please write down medium acidity, medium sweetness, low bitterness. Once I will serve you your espresso, please evaluate the crema, but don't drink it yet. Espresso need to cool down a bit. Please write down notes. Blood orange. Papaya. Jasmine. Pink grapefruit aftertaste. Medium body and syrupy texture. Judges, now your espresso cool down a bit. So please, take your spoon, first stir it five times, and then enjoy.
judges. If you're ready, let's move on. My next coffee for a milk beverage with a brown color, it's coming from Costa Rica. The variety is Milenio, which is a hybrid between Sachimor and Sudan Rume. I choose this coffee because with this farm, I start my barista adventure. And I think it's giving a beautiful contrast to the first coffee. I'm dozing. 20 grams in and 40 grams out to get a kick of intensity. Johnny, the producer, a um, fermented this coffee for 10 days anaerobic. Then he put it to the dry for 14 days under the sun, which gives a beautiful brown color as rum today. So judges, please write down notes. Amaretto. Dark chocolate. Tiramisu. With rum aftertaste. and creamy body, creamy texture. Once I will serve your milk beverage, you can evaluate the visual and enjoy it straight away. I was dosing 20 grams in and 40 grams out with 60 milliliters of cow milk to get a kick of intensity. Please enjoy. Roasting was challenging with this fermentation and drying processes. Milenio was fragile, so we did short development on the end of the roast. Please enjoy. And El Burro, with this new ASD process was dense. That's why you use soaking technique. Please enjoy. Milk. I steam milk for 55 degrees to highlight the rum notes even more. Please enjoy. Judges, 
If you're ready, let's move on to the signature drink. I choose, again, El Burro. Because with my ingredients, we'll transform from red and orange to pink. I got inspired with the fermentation and drying processes to pink ingredients for my signature drink. But about this, I will tell you in a second. So for now, please relax and I will be right back. First, let's change the color from espresso. To the pink color as my signature. Okay. So first, I will add two double espressos of El Burro. Next, first ingredient, papaya. I choose this ingredient because it's grown at El Burro Farm, just like my coffee. I freshly blend it into a smooth mousse. Now I'm adding 40 grams, and it's gonna give me new notes of peach. Second ingredient. Um, it's a simple syrup with ratio one to one. I'm adding 50 milliliters to improve the sweetness. Third ingredient, cascara. This cascara, it's a byproduct of geisha at El Burro Farm. I infuse this with water with ratio 1 to 10. Then I freeze it into ice cubes. It's gonna give me new notes of peach jam. I'm gonna add 60 grams. Then, fourth ingredient, it's non-alcoholic kombucha. I infused with water coffee flower tea with a ratio one to five for five minutes. Using this SCOBY, I fermented it for five days. I'm adding 20 milliliters. This will give me elderflower notes. Now, I'm gonna shake it for about 10 seconds to improve the texture and cool it down. Please write down notes, that is. Peach. Apricot jam. Elderflower. with the pink grapefruit aftertaste. Round texture. And temperature of 12 degrees. You can enjoy it straight away in minimum two sips. Enjoy. 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 Please enjoy.
that is with my customers. I love play with the color and share my passion. And today with you. I can't wait to explore more coffee and more colors. Thank you so much. And time. <laughs>